In this video, let's talk about the best resources and courses for AI and machine learning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Wes Roth. I've been building businesses and working online since around 2011. In the last few years, it occurred to me, and I'm sure it did to a lot of you as well, that AI and machine learning have hit an inflection point and will rapidly become a bigger and bigger part of every industry, every job, and every business. So whether you're learning AI as a student or to advance your career, or you're hoping to grow or start your own business, here's some really good ways to take yourself to that next level. So the first resource I wanna mention is GitHub. GitHub is this massive code repository where people all around the world can share their software projects, collaborate and create new and useful tools. It's free and open to anyone. Now that more and more people are getting into AI, GitHub is becoming a great place to get some hands-on experience building the latest cutting edge AI tools. For example, here is Alloy Voice Assistant. We've covered it on this channel before, but basically what it does is it allows you to connect your favorite large language model, whether that's ChatGPT, Gemini, or Anthropic's Claude, and start chatting with it with voice in real time. It gets access to your webcam, is able to see what you're holding up and, and it can kind of interact with you and chat with you in real time. Here's a quick example of what that looks like. It looks like it's ready to answer some questions and it's watching the stream from the camera. Can you tell me what I'm holding in my hand? You're holding a carton of Kirkland coconut water. That's right. And what am I wearing on my head? You're wearing headphones. That is correct. And what am I holding in my right hand? And what color is it? You're holding a green pen. Other projects we've covered in this channel that are available on GitHub are things like ChatDev, which allows you to create a whole team of AI developers. As in, all these little people in their departments are powered by, in this case, ChatGPT, that are able to help you code whatever little application or game or whatever you're looking for. This process includes testing, you know, getting the bugs out of the system, as well as providing documentation for whatever software you're creating. So basically a full-fledged AI software development agency. We've also showcased Microsoft's Autogen, so it's uh, open source as well. This allows you to create your own AI agents to complete various tasks online. And there's tons and tons more things that we don't have time to go into. But the point is that GitHub is free to use. It allows you to look at what the best people in the world are building to collaborate with them, to build on top of it and to kind of stay on top of the ecosystem and what's happening. Now, if you're already a developer, you already know how awesome this tool is. But what if you're just thinking about getting started? What if you're just thinking about learning how to code? You're not quite yet comfortable with, you know, GitHub and some coding concepts are still a little bit foreign to you. Fear not, because the next few resources that I will mention will help you accomplish exactly what you're trying to do. The second resource is the AI and machine learning courses by Simply Learn. In fact, it looks like AI and machine learning is one of the most popular sort of sections on their website. And I know there's many courses available where you can learn about AI and machine learning, but if you're looking for a place where one, you can get hands-on experience using the latest AI tools and technologies, and two, work on real world projects. Well, in my research, I've came across this exact learning platform called Simply Learn that's really ahead of the curve when it comes to teaching AI and machine learning. They work in collaboration with the world's renowned universities, as well as the top corporations and companies in the space. They have been reviewed and recommended by Forbes. And here are the most popular AI and machine learning courses. For example, this AI and machine learning bootcamp, gain essential skills for career growth with this AI bootcamp. And as you can see here, it begins with, if you look at the learning path, let me blow up the text here a little bit. So it starts with a programming refresher, basics like installing Python and setting up your IDE, the integrated development environment, You've probably seen me use VS Code. That's uh, probably one of my favorites. It's not very complicated, but it can be a little bit daunting at first if you're just diving into it. Learning the usage of a Jupyter Notebook. So you've probably seen me use Google Collab, which is my kind of go-to version of that, as well as a basic overview of Python. Most people consider that to be the go-to language for AI. There are some people who do not agree with that and they're very uh, vocal about not agreeing with it, but a lot of the stuff just happens to be in Python. Will that ever change? Uh, maybe the day that Americans will stop using the metric system. That is to say, not for a while. 
It's just my opinion. Then it goes through applied data science with Python, kind of the more advanced stuff using data science, which opens up quite a lot of doors. Then they go into TensorFlow, PyTorch, which are machine learning frameworks. And this is sort of the API that kind of sits on top of it. So this is going to allow you to start training your very own neural nets, your AI models, and they continue with actually using generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, et cetera. You also have your final capstone projects and various electives. One of the first projects would be to develop a shopping app for an e-commerce company using Python. So for people getting started looking at these tools that are covered under this course, this might be a phenomenal jumping off point. One of the alumni uh, described their experience with the class and kind of where it took them. To me, kind of really showcases what this can do for your career. Even if you're just starting out, take a listen. It's amazing how artificial intelligence seems to be taking over the world we live in. I am Diego Zabayo and I live in the beautiful city of Paramaribo. As an AI slash ML practitioner, I have invested countless hours into studying the latest trends and technologies in this field, working on personal projects and collaborating with other developers to solve complex problems. I spent countless hours teaching myself front-end development. My experience with Simplier was very good. I think the course material is very thoughtfully designed. I'm thinking about using AI with computational neuroscience and computational biology. After I'm done with this bootcamp, I am doing those two courses. So I really love hearing stories like that. He learned the basics. He got a job at an American startup, rolled over his earning into learning and growing and eventually creating his own startup. I love hearing stories like that. It's uh, very inspiring. This is another course, uh, Generative AI for Business Transformation. And again, these are in collaboration with the world's renowned universities and corporations that are in the space. They have great reviews on SwitchUp, Course Report, and Trustpilot. But notice these tools that they showcase here. ChatGPT, Gemini, Stability AI, and Zapier. In my decade plus of running online businesses, Zapier was a very powerful tool for automation. You've heard me talking about it on this channel many, many times. Now, in the past, it was somewhat limited. You had to script everything. It was, it was very rigid. With a reasoning engine like ChatGPT or Gemini, these tools are kind of supercharged. I would have loved to have these tools back in 2016 when I was building out my e-commerce business. That would have made a night and day difference. So the fact that one of the courses here is learn various use cases of Zapier automation and generative AI, followed by master the art of monitoring and optimizing workflow automation, that really signals to me that whoever's putting this together really knows what they're talking about. And by the way, this should not come as a surprise because, because the program advisors for this course are people that are founders and CEOs of tech companies, chief data scientists, data and machine learning leads, directors of head of machine learning and AI, etc. You can probably tell this is the course that I am thinking about taking. I wish I had this when I was starting. I probably spent literally hundreds of hours doing stuff that either A, can now be completely automated, or B, I don't have to learn how to do it because AI takes care of it. It does the job for me. For example, a lot of the graphic design and product design, stuff like that. Currently, the AI does an incredible job of creating a lot of that material. They have financing options available. Looks like this course can be as low as $250 a month. And, and this I thought was very interesting. Last year, I mentioned this, that there'll be some sort of a wave, some sort of a rising demand for this particular role that has to do with AI. Now, I wasn't sure what the name for that role is going to be, but here they're referring to it as generative AI engineer. And it looks like the average annual salaries uh, here in the U.S., are $122,000 and on the high range up to $192,000. So this could be a great field to get into as it's growing or expanding and there's a massive sort of demand for people with these skills and abilities. And speaking from kind of personal experience, this is anecdotal, but I know a lot of e-commerce store owners. Having been doing this for the last 10 years, working with a lot of people that are established in that space, I can tell you there's a massive interest in these skills. Workflow automation alone is gold. So I apologize if I spend way too much on that one course. There are many, many others for whatever sort of machine learning niche you're looking for, whatever level you're at right now. And of course, they have many other courses available from various world leading universities in subjects such as data science and business analytics, you know, of course, AI, machine learning, project management, cybersecurity, and much, much more. 
So visit simplylearn.com slash AI and machine learning with dashes between the words, or just click the link down in the description or the pinned comment to visit Simply Learn. Take that first step in advancing your career with online education. Which brings us back to resource number three, and that is using the AI tools themselves to help you answer questions about AI and coding. In the beginning, we've talked about using something like GitHub to get ideas for what people are already building and trying to build on top of it. Remember the Alloy Voice Assistant? So it uses your webcam to capture the images and then respond to those images real time and then answers questions about those images. Now that can be really fun, useful, but what if instead you wanted to look at your desktop and be able to answer questions about what it sees there? For example, let's say you're looking at this code and trying to figure out how would you change this from a webcam stream to a desktop stream, for example. Now, if you're already a coder, you can probably just rewrite this, add whatever functionality you need, and you're good to go. But what if you're not quite there yet? Well, what I can do is I can copy this code and put it into my favorite LLM. We can use ChatGPT or Claude. Those are probably the best ones at the moment. And for the model, I'm gonna try this GPT-4.0 with Canvas. Depending on when you do this, there might be different models that are better. And I'm just gonna paste the code in there. Shift enter to create a few lines. And here we're gonna write, we're gonna say, please change this code so that instead of using the webcam stream, it takes screenshots of the desktop and replies to those images instead. All right, let's see what happens. So first of all, it's gonna open up the, this is the canvas screen that it opens up on the right-hand side where it writes out the code for us. All right, so far, so good. As you can see here, it even explained what it's doing. It says, I've updated the code to use desktop screenshots instead of the webcam stream by replacing the webcam stream class with a screenshot stream class. And it uses the Pi Auto GUI to capture the desktop. So Pi is Python, Auto, and graphical user interface to capture the desktop. That's just one of the sort of uh, libraries that it needs to handle that. So now I'm just gonna go here and I will copy that code. And so I just replace the existing code with our new code. And again, if you get confused about how to do any of this, ChatGPT will be able to walk you through it. It usually helps to have just a little bit of a kind of a base knowledge to understand what different things are called to be able to ask it the correct questions. But once you have the basics down, you're able to just ask it for exactly what to do next step by step. Then we'll run the program. Now, by the way, if you get any error messages, you can go ahead and just throw them back into ChatGPT and have it fix it. For example, I can take this, just paste that error code in here and click go. As you can see, it's going through line by line and seeing if it needs to do anything to correct it. Most of it's gonna stay the same and hopefully it's just gonna fix the error that we're encountering. And let's try running that again. Take a look at the code that you see on the screen. What do you think this program does? This program seems to be a voice assistant using OpenAI's API. It captures screenshots and processes audio input to generate prompts. It appears to be set up to work with either Google's AI or OpenAI's GPT-4 model for generating responses. Take a look at the code on the screen right now. What do you think that piece of code does? This code snippet defines a webcam stream class, which manages video capture from a webcam. It includes methods to start and stop the video stream, update frames in a separate thread, and read the current frame with thread safety using a lock. Now I removed that class and replaced it with this one. What do you think this does? This class, Screenshot Capture, is designed to capture screenshots. It uses a thread to continuously update the screenshot while ensuring thread safety with a lock. The start method initializes and runs the update process. So one thing that I do want you to notice there is that I have not written one line of code. The original project came from GitHub. All the modifications, all the explanations, all the bug, troubleshooting, whatever, that came from ChatGPT in this case. So if you don't know how to code, don't let that discourage you. As you see, I can do some fairly complicated projects, some fairly advanced AI tools, maybe not advanced, let's call this intermediate though for sure, right? You're using multiple things like text to audio, you're using um, you're using OpenAI's Whisper, the transcription service, you're using the GPT-4.0 to interact back and forth, as well as either the screenshot stream or the webcam stream, but you're able to do that without any programming knowledge. You do need to take some time to figure out how to set it up and figure out how to create that ID, how to set up the environment. 
learn your way around the terminal. That's where you actually have to type in stuff instead of clicking on stuff. But once you kind of get the basics, a whole new world opens up to you. Resource number four is Andre Karpathy. So Andre has been in AI for a long, long time. He worked with Elon on self-driving cars. He worked with Dr. Jim Fan from NVIDIA. He worked with Ilya Sutskever and OpenAI. So he's a legitimate AI insider, and he's decided to take a time off from progressing AI research to helping teach people about AI. His YouTube channel gets a massive amounts of views anytime he posts a video. He provides this content absolutely for free, as well as some GitHub repositories that are very helpful in learning how to build your very own large language model, LLM, and to understand at a fundamental level how they work. Now, this might not be for everybody. This is getting more into kind of the inner workings of these models instead of kind of like, like the top level uh, hands-on application of AI tools. But this can be very useful for getting a fundamental understanding into sort of the, the base layer of how all of this works. And you're getting that knowledge from the very person that has been instrumental in building some of this stuff. If you want to get started, I recommend you check out the intro to large language models. This video has amassed millions of views already. And this will give you a great overview of what these LLMs are, what the features are, what the challenges are, what are the limitations, how they're created, etc. So in summary, those are some great resources to help you on your journey of learning or improving your AI skills. I try to give you some good variety of both free and paid resources, resources for both people that are self-learners, self-starters, as well as people that like to take a more structured approach. A big thanks to Simply Learn for sponsoring this video. Let me know what other resources for learning AI you guys enjoy. What's your favorite go-to resource? Let me know in the comments. With that said, my name is Wes Roth, and thank you for watching.